OMG. Sit back, relax, and sip your tea. We keep you company. Take up some space. Huh? Take up some, some much space. <laughs> so you're saying I'm matter? I'm not looking like um. Do you see my thighs? No. I do my thighs. Hmm. I'm on the road. I say I'm on the road. <laughs> Boys, because I wanted to say I'm on the road this evening. Anyways. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? No, it might not be evening, babe. Hello. Welcome Good day. to our channel. Welcome to our channel. We are the OMGs. My name is Isinde. My name is Emmanuel. It's nice to meet you. If it's your first time here, hello, welcome. Join the fam. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And, you know, share this video with your friends if you like it. And give us a thumbs up. Yeah. What do we do on this channel, sir? Mm -hmm. Like, we introduce ourselves. So, okay. what do we do? We talk about stuff, really. Just our experience so far in marriage. In marriage, and, yeah. And, and stuff. We do, we, we play games together. You know, yeah. Together. Just share our life with you is part a portion of our lives yeah bits and pieces so you might be wondering uh, am i going somewhere i'm not going anywhere i dressed but up for this vlog no the, i'm i'm just telling them i just dressed up for this vlog. you know why because our last vlog all of you were like ah yeah today you look fine today blah blah, blah and everything thank so, you so much guys I so really i got jealous that. so it's my turn you guys drop the comments how do i look today how do i look eh? yeah, we i look good yeah you do look good, though. Also, I want to drop it there that we are going to... Today is going to be 10 minutes. And we shall shame you people laughing at us. As you can see, he's the one that's always banging on about this 10 minutes. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go with the flow. All right, so today we're going to be talking about um, ideas we had or things we kind of fantasize about. When we were single. And when we were single, would have, okay, our fantasies about marriage. Then when we now go to this other side of marriage, we now realize that. It's a lie. The grass is greener from the other side. But when you reach there, you get. Well, it's not in a bad way, though. Mm, Let's just, start from you. Okay, so I always used to say that my husband, he was really my husband, he would always open the car door for me because he's a gentleman. <laughs> and, you know, he always sees me as his queen. I'm, I'm his queen. He's my king. So he would always do, like, grand gestures, open every door for me, open the car door for me. That shows a true gentleman. So if I well, don't open the card door, I don't see you as a queen. <laughs> but I hope, so I've not opened card door for you before. I, that was when we were dating. So since and we got like, married, I've not opened card door. When Babe, I you are lying. When I mentioned that you do, it's very lovely. But I, it's, I'm trying do. to respect because um, you just this, forget, baby. no, no, this you lady came like out and spoke. This woman, this um, feminism. I was going to say womanism. I've forgotten her name. Feminist. She said. Um, it's, oh, it's like, like, yeah, yeah. I think she said something like, uh, well, "Are we trying to say women are weaker? Why, would, why that nobody should open the door for her?" For her. You know? exactly. I'm not too mad. My name is Cindy. It's feminism. And I won't. And I, won't no, I didn't tell you about me being a feminist. My sister. You know, I'm. I am. Uh, I. You know, I'm for women's rights, but I'm not necessarily a feminist. I'm not going to go into that. But I like my doors open to when, me. No, why you should be with some star driving. You understand? So that's one number one. <laughs> you like. Go on, number this this was supposed to just be things we look forward to, not yeah, look forward not to mild that. attack. You're attacking me mildly. I'm joking. I'm joking. You always take it. So you, number two. You, you, do you know what I think? It is a sore spot because every time I tell him that, oh, you know, I like. I've always said that I liked when the man opened the car door for me, and he'll now do it. It's so cute. Husbands, <laughs> I be wives. Do your husbands open door for you? No, but we, sure my sister, from the driver's side to come to your side, see eh? <laughs> Anyways, but when we go somewhere, I open the door for you when we go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Anyways, number two. Try, try. Number two. Um, it, this, it was movies that gave me this idea. You understand? Why do they... So, I had this idea that when I get married, 
me and me and my wife like we would, when we are sleeping we we'll always hold, hold each other to sleep not even necessarily yeah. cold cold our yeah. sleeping posture there's a way it always is in movies like, yeah and like, no, know, no no put your hand behind, behind, behind uh -huh. yes, and this is how we sleep, sleep you know like and if you watch movies especially in hollywood sleep. movies why do they always do it like if you think i'm lying do you know that you know when the husband tries to sneak out the first thing he always does is he will remove the hand like this to show you that <laughs> So say actually mm -hmm. remove the hand then pull, pull her away from yeah. the top of him to show him that that's how they it, sleep so me i had it in my head that okay this is how i'll be sleeping in marriage with my sister man. Man you know is you stiff. you wake up stiff <laughs> no even you i can't even sleep like that because i'm breathing you do you understand yeah. <laughs> there's no oxygen no, no, i'm breathing no, no. to your no it doesn't it's work like air. we try it you know we try but we'll be like that for like maybe three five minutes be like babe good night <laughs> sometimes we sleep and face opposite sides and you know that like, some people some people say that oh like when you're angry you sleep opposite sides but honestly it's just it's just the most comfy you five <laughs> where was was comfy for you you understand <laughs> although most, comfy most comfy. times when you sleep opposite side it results in something else because the thing yeah, your bum is facing me but yeah. that's not what we're talking about but the funny thing is it's not because I do not like to call it. For example, I still I sleep and hold the pillow. Do you, do you notice yeah, that most times I hold? It, but it, it has to. The only thing you can call do has to be inanimate. Do you understand? Because it squeezes the life out of that pillow. And I can't be squeezed. And I'm not calling for calling. Yeah. It's just it feels. I don't know. Like it's. it's do you understand? Like a blanket. So it, it, it can be a human being. So please drop a comment if you you and your husband or you and your wife you sleep holding each other all through the night. I don't think there's one couple on earth that does that. <laughs> Or Never maybe we are just awkward. You never know. You Your never turn. Know. Um, the other thing, I think I wrote it down actually. Showering <laughs> together. <laughs> like you know, like especially in movies, it's like it's like <laughs> sexy time. You know, you shower together. You know, he's scrubbing. I'm scrubbing his back. He then scrubs mine. It's also it's so romantic and lovely. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> he likes oh my earrings. He likes cold showers, and I like hot showers. So. And to be honest, there's no there's no middle because he likes really cold and I like creamy. It's always a battleground when we see we should shower together. Cause when when <laughs> as in, when she puts her when I, when I turn the shower to my side, it's like she's cooking herself. It's, 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 it's <laughs> like as in she baths at boiling point. I don't understand. <laughs> I like know, I'm just used to that. It burns me. Do you understand? When it's my own water, she screams. It's, it's like it's ice. So. We find the equilibrium to that when there is ulterior motive. You understand? Like you understand? When, yeah. When he's, but he's feeling that. Then our bathroom, our bathroom is so small, yeah. so tiny. You, small. you guys had a glimpse, glimpse of it at um, this is our last Sunday video. You know. It's too small. The shower, the shower, like not so much the bathroom, but the, the shower itself is. You know what you got? Maybe when we build our house and we have that shower, the, the bathroom that the shower comes from everywhere. You know that. Yeah. I had that in one of the, a couple of hotels when I was oh, mad. Yeah. Maybe that would make sense. You get. But right now. Like you're being attacked. Like, ah, ah. Marriage is not about that. I read. You yeah. get. So. Yeah, in case you are so you single one, so if too, these man. are the things you are looking forward to, that this is the main reason you want to get married. Maybe you should pause. Oh, because, yeah, because when you cross, uh, me another thing for me is okay. So I thought I really look forward to it. That okay, finally at least marriage is when you get to have sex and um, the license to have sex anyhow. No, but like it's not a sin. You understand? All so day, day. you understand? So I thought it was going to be back to back. <laughs> give it to her, give it to him, and everything. Please but what? now every time. <laughs> Every time I talk about, now I need to put this. Any, every time I talk about sex, it always seems like I'm the only one coming, and she's always the one tired. Now let, let's coming. let's not be. I'm the come on coming for sex. Okay. And you're the one tired, like you get. But let's yeah, most times you're the one usually tired. But let's make get it straight. Time sometimes too that she wants to. I'm usually tired. And we would That's have so thought funny. that you would be tired to have sex. That's, like when he's like he's tired, I'm like, huh? Is this the same man? <laughs> Do you understand? So these are the things that might be luring to people on the singles. I'm not saying you should not get married though, but just get married for the right reasons you yeah. get. Because as a single person, sex is usually like attract sex is like, like oh my gosh. I, I, win, I cannot like I be oh I can't wait to start having it. Who would yeah. think that you will be tired of it? Who would think that there there will be times that ah oh, no no I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Exactly. Like sometimes I don't want to use the word disgusting is too far, but sometimes sex is just you you just don't want it. Like it's the last like thing you want to hear. You're like, no, no. So yeah, that's one that's another thing. So yeah, I I I used to think that it was it's going to be bad to buy, give it to ourselves, but 
Sometimes when I'm ready, she's tired. Sometimes when she's tired, when she's ready, I'm tired. You understand? Sometimes both of us are tired. <laughs> so just as in this, I, I, another way to now look at these things we are raising is the fact that there's really no perfect. Um, there's really see. There's really, and I think it was part of the sermon the um, pastor was preaching there's no yesterday. Season. No, it's not even season. Oh. There's all these things there. Mm. Every, including marriage, like. If that is just what you are aiming and not the essence of marriage. Oh, yeah, the happiness that you're drawing. All these things are temporary happiness. Yeah. Do you understand? It can never quench, like, it can never give you the real kind of happiness you're looking for. So and imagine God, only God So imagine if the target had been like, oh, finally, when I just have somebody by my side, like, mm -hmm. when I just get married, I'll be fulfilled and I'll be married. Yes, the example was Solomon that had everything. Like, he had literally, you know, he said that there's some people that have, you know, they, they can have everything that they want. And that's never a good thing because you can have all these things, but that doesn't mean that it will, it will make you happy. And Solomon discovered that, like, he had everything that anyone could ever imagine. And at the end of it, he said that it was all vanity. So, yeah. You know. yeah. And, okay, so that will take me to my next point, hmm. which I have to construct very well before I, before I say so that you don't misconstrue it. Hmm. So now, uh, another thing I kind of thought marriage would be, I didn't know that marriage, there has to be a consciousness to marriage. I didn't know that. It's what? I'm, yeah, it's work. You get, like, I, I thought that everything would just fall in place. For example, like, you are the biggest crush of my life. You understand? Aww. I had so, I, I say I have a crush. Don't let me say hard. But I understand where I'm coming from. I had such a huge crush on you. What? And when I even thought I could not have you, those initial days, you get... So in my mind, I used to just be like, if this girl would just, as in, because I thought it was such an impossibility, like, if this girl would just be my wife, that's it. There's nothing again. Yeah. Do you understand? But it's not like that. Do you understand? Because it is, I, I, you, you would think that it's something that, oh, once you get the person you are chasing, mm -hmm. all you need to do is just sit back and you will continue loving the person, the person will continue loving my sister. If you sit back, or my brother, have you sit back? Because it takes maturity, it takes consciousness, it takes... Yeah, consciousness is the right word. You have to consciously love... Decide to love the person every day. And consciously appreciate and see what the person is bringing in and everything. Because almost it's, your... See, it's not, it's not your crush can be your bo. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> it can be your bo, but that's not the case. But so from the, from the outside, from the outside, it just felt like once... I mean, these marriage walls... Mm. Everything got itself. You get like uh, when you're married, you feel like oh, you already have this person. You really don't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. But that is when you need to put in more work. If you get what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, absolutely. That, I was saying that to um, I was speaking to someone yesterday, and we just talking just talking about it in general. I was like, you know, there's a there's a misconception that um, you know, we always everybody has you know those that want to get married, they have a vision of what they want their marriage to be like, kind of thing, but. I feel like when you don't have a, um, an understanding of how important the foundation is, it can seem very airy fairy and almost unobtainable. You and you'll be striving for something, or you you, know, you want to get this, but you, every time you meet the person, and then you maybe you like you're you're dating, and then you have a big issue, and you're not able to work through it because you're like this is not how it's supposed to be. Whereas in in in, in reality, that is <laughs> what it's gonna be like. So like, more or less, more or less, like you already have a picture in your mind. Mm -hmm. So every time you date and the person is not like it's not according to that picture, or things are not going to that picture. Or things bump, you hit a bump you, in the road. You like, just feel like no, 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 so this is not it. You just keep person. cutting. My, yeah. You just keep breaking up with everybody <laughs> in life because that perfect never... picture. You are the, you have to work it have out. Work There's it no out. it's it's not it's not it's not cast uh, cast in stone. I no, mean it's, it's not, not it's not you don't get, get it on a platter. No, so that your it's not like it cannot be achieved. You can get your perfect picture of your relationship, mm -hmm. but it's work. It's work. It's years and, and years and, and years of work. Daily work. Because there's nobody there's nobody that is perfect. The exact man you want. Do you understand? You're you not you, perfect. I, I got the woman I want, you know, but she's not the exact. Yeah. You understand? Because I'm I'm not the exact guy too. We need to, because we are different. We go, we came from different backgrounds, and yeah. so is even even you. Both, you are, you are the person that came from the same background. You and your siblings, you are not the same. No. Do you understand? If God is instead, sorry, <laughs> but if it's like you can marry your sister or something, there will still be problems yeah. because you people are not the same. So you have to work and attain yeah. my favorite word. Equilibrium. Mm -hmm. yes, your favorite word. Yeah. And okay. also, I feel like um, um, when you become when you come together, you start to mold each other. 
because you know when I think about you, almost three years ago, you're not the same person no, that you are now. You have tried for me, and vice versa. Like you even like me. you know sometimes you look at how the person is dressed and you be like ah. See no, but maybe you have tried for me, but you still have a lot of trials to do. Yeah, <laughs> no, you have work. But when I look at myself very, before I go my right now. I, 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 I see changes, and this, those changes not come as a result of myself. I give that I, to you. I have to and say, I give it to even, God. even in me as well, like when I think about myself before, you know, especially when with my appearance, it was so funny because in my life I've I've gone through many different stages and different looks. And I used to do my weave, my weave every time, you know, back in the day I was doing my nails, and then I cut my hair, and I just did not care, you know, I had no hair, I didn't care, and then my hair grew out, and then I started to carry, like you know. It was just more about my work. I was focused on just enjoying my life. So now it's trying to find the balance of, you know, I can look cute and everything and still enjoy my life kind of thing. So Anyways. you've helped me in that. Yeah, yeah. In that on part. a closing, because I just remember our 10 minutes now, which is our fourth today. Wow. On a closing, wow. sir. Wow. Based on, you said something. You need to be an artist. I should sign you. Airy, fairy, carry. You just rhyme one rhyme like that. <laughs> fairy. Mad. Airy, fairy. But on a closing, mm -hmm. uh, I think we should just say, one like we, I said, I'm not the same person. I'm not the same. So let's just say one thing, one major thing each the other person has changed about the other person, and we're on the top there. The major thing you have changed about me is my self confidence. Like, really? yeah, I feel, I feel anything I put my heart on, I can always get. <gasps> the fact I got you, I, like I said, they were like from the onset, like it got to the point oh. that I was I'd, actually you, you, you were kind of like a fantasy because I used to just assume that ah. Imagine this girl. It felt like an impossibility. Like imagine this girl just be my wife. Cause it felt like you did, you did, you didn't want just send me at all. Though eventually <laughs> I realized you like me and everything. Yeah. By that point, I didn't know I was going to get you. You know, so getting you and now you're my wife. Wow, getting you and you're not my wife and you're the one I bang. You know, all right, I feel all right, like. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> there we go. But all yeah, right. but I feel like I can like. And since then, I've actually everything I put my mind on with God, I've got it. That's really wonderful. And that's to tell you that we are going to get this next one. Amen. Yeah. For me, it's it's actually the same, but in a different way. I feel like you make me feel like I can do anything. You know. Through Christ, uh, that strengthens you. Through Christ, that strengthens what me. What part of but the language does? Continue. Um, continue, continue. Right. What was I going to say? Let just, them know you don't know how to call isn't it Hebrew? They, they know you don't know how to call Continue. Well, I do know. You just frame me off. But anyway, like, I just feel like... Um, Especially, you know, I always talk about how when I first started my own channel, how, this me vlogs, um, <laughs> how you used to, don't you need your name? Uh, no, I'm sorry. How then, I, you know, I wanted to give up and you were like, no, you know, you, you really showed me like what I could do to make it better and how I, things I, I just didn't know. Shai, it was a hobby to me and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't picture it being any, these, these earrings are ridiculous. I didn't picture it being any um, bigger than it was. Mm. And even with what, whatever I'm doing, you're always so supportive. And you make me feel like, actually, I can do things. I can do Good this. You know, it's shigo. It's sh you're welcome. Yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Come on. But we're getting Ten closer. Minutes. We're getting closer. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. We're, we're right. even here. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> On the see you same time, same station. By the way, today this is today's random moment. Enjoy. OMGs, OMGs. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Come, come here. Don't stay away from the camera. Come and stay in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Are you ready? Yeah.
Come and tell them bye. No, 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 wait. Say bye first. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. We are turning off. Hope you liked it. Um, so drop your comments. Um, things you fantasized about marriage, and when you go married, you realize <laughs> my sister, you're on your own, my brother, you're on your own. <laughs> but it doesn't mean marriage is not amazing. Marriage is like one of the best decisions I made in my life. Me this too. I've never had a better yesterday. This phase oh. of my life is way better than any of my single ah, days no. so far. She. Any of my single days at all, you get. She. So oh. it's I, I, I thank God I'm married. I thank God I'm married. I say thank God I'm married. Thank you, Lord. I was about to say, God bless you, God, for <laughs> but thank you, God, for marriage. Thank you, like. <laughs> so yeah, that's all marriage. about today. Oh, we are seven thousand subscribers, by the way. Thank, by the way, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, for just always tuning in, for sharing, for liking, for commenting. And we thank you. The engagement are kind of getting up again. We okay. really encourage you. Do, those, it, that's what encourages us, and that will, that that work keeps us going. Thank you very very much. You so Have see you same time next time. Bye. 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 Okay. So every time I want to kiss you now, I won't. Man, you will not Jay, kiss. But when you kiss, yeah. I'm not. Leave me alone. So if I want to kiss you, you'll be doing this. I love you. Leave me alone. Well, love, love. You're so cute.